At the time Iran attacked Israel, Jordan's Air Force fighter planes shot down dozens of Iranian drones. This clearly shows that Jordan is with Israel. Saudi Arabia also condemned Iran's attack, saying it will escalate the conflict, which is not good for the world. This also clearly indicates that Saudi Arabia is displeased with Iran's actions. In addition, other Muslim countries have also remained silent on this attack by Iran. Iran is a powerful Muslim country in the Middle East. It has a large army drone and a large stockpile of ballistic missiles and a powerful navy. But Jordan and Saudi Arabia's alignment with Israel is certainly a big setback for Iran. The biggest blow to Iran was from Jordan, which openly supported Israel to thwart Iran's attack. Jordan's Air Force took action to shoot down Iranian drones and missiles, destroying many in the air itself. Israel has expressed gratitude for this assistance from Jordan. After this attack, the divide in Muslim countries is not a good sign for Iran, and this will surely increase Iran's tension. This tension in Iran is escalating. Jordan, who is talking about defending his country, but from behind the curtain, is supporting Israel. The potential war between Israel and Iran has once again put the world in a new worry. But it is certain that the tension between the two has once again divided the world into two parts. After the Hamas attack on 7th of October, it was said that once again, all Muslim countries will stand against Israel. In history, it has happened many times. During the Arab-Israeli war in 1948, on one side was Israel and on the other side were almost all Arab countries, including Palestine, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, Egypt were included. After this, during the Six Day War in 1967, all were against Israel. Arab countries united. These included Egypt, Syria, Jordan, Libya, Iraq, and Lebanon were included. However, Israel had won in both these wars in the past 50 years. The world has changed a lot. The Arab countries that were earlier seen on one platform are now divided into different factions. Now, Arab and Muslim unity has become just a slogan. Even in this Israel-Palestine war, the division within Muslim countries is clearly visible. It's been in front of the world many times. There are many countries in the Middle East that are opposed to Israel, but are more hostile to Iran. Actually, in Muslim countries of the Middle East, there are two main power centers, one led by Saudi Arabia are Sunni. Muslim countries and on the other side is Iran leading Shia majority countries in the camp of Saudi Arabia. There are UAE, Egypt, countries like Yemen, while in the camp of Iran, there are Iraq and Syria. Although Iran controls Lebanon's Hezbollah, Hamas of Palestine and Houthi rebels of Yemen, which maintains Iran's influence throughout the Middle East. In addition, Turkey and Qatar are countries that remain neutral in the fight for dominance. Turkey and Qatar are Sunni, majority countries, but they don't want to side with Saudi Arabia. Both countries want Sunni majority countries to join them. Middle East politics has another major aspect, and that is America. Although all Muslim countries talk about anti-American politics, there are many American military bases in Middle East countries. In Saudi Arabia, there are 2,700 American soldiers. In UAE, a Middle Eastern country, there are 3,500. And in Kuwait, there are 13,500 American soldiers deployed. Iraq. There are 2,500 in Iraq and 800 American in Syria. Soldiers are deployed. 10,000 in Qatar, 3,000 in Jordan. And approximately 1,500 soldiers are deployed in Turkey. Turkey is also a part of the American military alliance, NATO. While Jordan is one of America's nine major NATO military partners, the enmity between America and Iran is well known. Therefore, in the situation of tension between Israel and Iran, these countries will have their own roles. Many Muslim countries in the Middle East are also concerned about Iran's growing influence. They do not want to take any step that would increase Iran's strength. In Yemen, to eliminate Iran's growing influence, Saudi Arabia in the year 2015, with UAE, Egypt and Jordan together, launched a major operation against the Houthi rebels. Whereas from 2018 to 2021, Saudi calm countries had imposed strict economic sanctions on Qatar. During this period, Turkey and Iran supported Qatar. It is clear from all these matters that politics in the Middle East is very complex. Muslim unity sounds good in theory, but the ground reality is something else. Even now, Jordan and Saudi Arabia have also decided to support Israel for their own interests. Seeing this, 
the decision was made. That's why Iran now seems alone. On the other hand, Israel is saying that this is war and it will surely respond.